Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Fine Sand, which is the latest in the Fable series of games from designer Friedman Fries. And I'm going to be showing you how it works today in a two-player run-through. Although, before I get going, I strongly recommend you turn your subtitles onto the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you have done so, and welcome to the beach, everybody, where everyone is racing to be the first to build the most sand castles. And more specifically, what that means is each of us starts with a deck of 30 cards. And we are trying to jettison, to get rid of these cards as fast as possible. As soon as somebody needs to draw a card and they can't because all their cards are gone, that's what triggers the end of the game. And at the end of the game, whoever has the fewest cards left in their possession is the winner. So, those are the basics, but before I get going, as I mentioned right up front, this is a Fable game, and what that means is every time you play, the game is going to change and evolve. And the way that works is whoever won the previous game, and as it happens, I happen to win the last game between my wife and I. Here's my deck, here's her deck. Whoever wins the previous game pulls three random cards out of their deck, and those cards are jettisoned. They are excised to the Fable deck, and you will not see those three cards again for another ten games. Or, or 9 or 10 games. And so, let's see what cards we're going to lose. It could be painful or it could be painless. Um, okay. Ah, uh, this is a relatively new card. Uh, this is a really good one for me able to go through your deck really fast. It can speed things up, uh, but it's gone. And let's see here. Uh, oh, uh, another new one. Ah, this is a uh, this is actually a really cool one to have. It's a purple power, which means it happens at the end of every turn. And at the end of your turn, you can discard uh, two cards to draw another card. So if you had a car around with a bunch of cards in your hand and they weren't what you wanted, and you were desperately trying to draw something, this is a really good way, uh, kind of like this one, to get through the deck as fast as possible. But it's gone, and we will not be seeing this card again for a while. And okay, this is a money card, and since it has this little symbol, it will not be lost. You never lose those. So let's keep drawing until we have three that don't have that symbol. Okay, it's a sandcastle. That's one less sandcastle we have to build. So I've gotten rid of these three. All other players get rid of those same cards. So i got to dig around and find gens. Let me just do that. I'll just take a second. Okay, we will bid these a fond farewell. Again, we will not see these cards for a long time. Many, many games before they'll come back into our lives. But now, we go to the Fable deck, and the top three cards get added back in. And again, we haven't seen these cards for ten ga for nine games. And so, we're adding back in this very it's super expensive, one of the most expensive cards in the game, but it lets you draw two more cards every round. A one that is another opportunity to increase your hand size. We lost this after the end of our first game we ever played. And... Oh, my precious, more money. Uh, that means we are going to be able to speed the game up. The more money we have in our deck, the more, the faster we can build. So these three go back in, and if I look at Jen's Fable deck, the same three cards will be at the top of hers. So they go into her deck as well, and these other cards, they go to the bottom, which means we'll have to go through a lot more before we ever see those powers again. Alrighty, and so the Fable decks are done. Now we have to reshuffle the decks and make sure that those three things are scattered around. And then, only then, after we have dealt with our Fabled bookkeeping, will we be able to start. Alrighty, so there's Jen's final. And let me go on ahead and uh, make sure these are kind of scattered around. And then give it a little bit of a shuffle. Whee! And we'll be off. Sorry for the delay, folks, but this fabled element is a huge part of the game. All right, so I did want to demonstrate how it works. Right, that's it. At the beginning of the game, we always start with a hand of six, which is um, not does not happen for the remainder of the rounds. We always start with one, two, three, four, five, six. And if there's any cards we don't like, one, two, three, four, five, six. If there's any cards we don't like, we can jettison them to draw more. And at the beginning of the game, super expensive cards like this $10 card, they, or, or even this $7 card, are a bit too rich for my blood. I won't be able to get those built for a while. So I think I'm going to jump junk both of these to draw two more. And hopefully draw one of my coin cards because I want some money to build. Nope, I got another super expensive one. And an ah, all right, well, that was not the greatest start for me, but you can only do this once. Let's see what Jen has got. 
She got both of her coins. Wow. She is very happy with this hand. She's just going to let it stand. Okay. We are now ready to go. I've got a discard pile. Jen doesn't. And we're off. Now, this is a game where everybody plays simultaneously. It's not a real-time game. You don't have to rush, but everybody can just do their turns at the same time. What you do is, at the beginning of the round, you take this little marker off your draw pile to indicate that you are going. Once you have finished all four steps, draw build or more drawing, and then discard. Once you've finished uh, you know, steps uh, one, two, and three, you put this back to indicate to everybody that you're done. And once everybody is done, we're finished with a round. So let's get going. Now I should be doing these simultaneously, but I cannot do it, Captain. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna deal with my hand first and then we'll take a look in uh, while I'm we'll see what Jen's up to. So the first thing you do is draw two cards. Although you can upgrade all of these abilities. Now you don't do that in the first round because instead, in the first round, we drew six. So we skip that, and now I have a choice. I can do action 2A or 2B. 2A means build one of these cards. And to build them, they all have a cost up in the top left corner. If I want to build this sandcastle to pay that two, I have to discard two other cards. So my hand gets smaller. Um, now instead, if I don't want to build, or uh, sometimes I can't build because I just don't have enough cards in my hand to build whatever I've got, I can do 2B, which instead lets me draw more cards. So I can be digging through my deck trying to find stuff that I really want to get my hands on. So what am I going to do? Well, let's see. I got a bunch of cards, and you know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I would like to increase my hand size. This costs five. I'm gonna build that right off the bat, which means I'm discarding all of these. I'm giving up the chance to build a sandcastle or this sandcastle. So I'm doing two A, and I'm gonna build, which increases my purple action. I now, at the end of my round, have a hand size of four instead of the normal three, and it cost me all five cards. Boom. All right, and I will indicate that I am done. All right, easy peasy. And now I am waiting um, for the next round for Jen to make her turn. And now, like I said, Jen started with her money cards. Uh, and you saw how uh, every card can be spent as one coin for building another card. These money cards count as two coins. So for building, Jen, although the problem is Jen doesn't have any really expensive cards to build. Uh, you know, say this was like a seven, uh, like a really powerful seven point card. She'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and she could build a super card right from the get go, but she didn't have it. So what does she want to do instead? Uh, hey, she got this same. She could increase her hand size, or she could play this card, which lets her once during her turn. That's what yellow cards do. You can use them once, whenever you want. She can discard three cards to draw two more, which will let her dig through her deck to try to find important things. Now instead, she could save some cash and um, play this one. Now this is a one-time use card. You, you can see, after you've used its power, it goes into your discard pile. That's why it's so cheap to build with a nice power. This is, discard as many cards as you want and draw that many plus one. A big part of this game is digging through your deck to find the stuff. So, does, all right, so is Jen going to build? Yeah, she's definitely going to build something. And remember, at the end of her turn, she goes down to only, she has to discard down to three. So it's not like she just wants to build a little thing and then save up because she'll have to discard. So what is she going to do? Um, I think... I think she's going to take this one that'll let her speed up a little bit in the future. She's going to build that. That costs three. That means she has to get rid of. She will get rid of this. That's one, two. And she'll get rid of this card. That er, mm, This card, yes. That is three. So she spent three total coins to build that. And um, now, this is something she could use right now. When you build a yellow or a purple card, you can use it immediately. If you build a red... A uh, green or blue card, you have to wait until the next round. Jen, so Jen could use this to discard the rest of these three and draw four cards, but that doesn't make much sense for her. So she's just going to save this for a later date. All right, so she's not going to use this power. She's already done the one build she can do, but she's not done yet. Everybody starts with this bulldozer card, which said, uh, which is a yellow card, and like all yellow cards, you can use it once per turn. If you use this, you can take one of your cards and put it on the uh, card that represents your player symbol. You can see Jen has the uh, the sand pail. I've got the hand. There's also like a shovel, and a, I forget what the other one is. Anyway, so Jen is going to use this power, and you could tap it as a reminder, or you could flip it. But you know, once you get the hang of it, you'll just you'll remember because you, you know you can only do this once. Jen is going to jettison one of these cards. She will get rid of this now. 
It comes over here, face down. Nobody knows what it is. And at the end of her turn, Jen still has two cards in her hand. And um, at the end of her turn, she has to go down... To, uh, to, yeah, so she had four, she'd have to discard more cards. But as it is, she's going to hold on to this. She's going to carry this money and this hand size increaser into the next round. So Jen is done as well. So we have both finished our turns. And now, if in a given round, everybody had jettisoned one of their cards by using this power, then what would happen is those cards would go into the discard pile of the player to your left. And you can imagine that's a very powerful thing. Because remember, we're just trying to get rid of our cards as fast as possible. Jen has just gotten rid of a card. She has a functionally, effectively built one, two cards this turn. She built one and she got rid of one. Me, I only built one card and it was pretty expensive. Hopefully, um, this is a more powerful use and it will pay off in the end, um, but that's it. Now, since only one of us, one of us jettisoned the cards, that means the card transfer doesn't happen. But later on, on a future turn, when I jettison a card using this power, then I will end up taking this and putting it in my discard pile, and Jen will take whatever I jettison and put it in her discard pile. So, um, you know, right. That was the end of the first round. Everybody's done, and we are ready to go. We, 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 at the end of the round, we check to see if we have to take jettison cards, and now we move on to the next round. Once again, we do this so that everybody indicates we're going at the same time. I'm going to draw two cards, which is good because i got nothing in my hand. And, okay, I've got another cool... This is a, this is a coin card. Uh, it's called a strong base, I believe, which is very powerful. It immediately gives me four coins to build with, but then it is it doesn't go into my discard pile. It is junked. It is out of the game. So this can be a really great um, you know uh, Kickstarter. So I, I draw one and I draw two, and now this is a blue card that increases my blue actions. All right, so I've got a hand of two. Jen also draws two to add to the remainder of her hand. So she's got four cards, I've got two, and we're done with this step. And now remember, if either of us had played any green cards to upgrade this, the, the first step, we would do those actions as well. But as it is, we haven't. And so, I got two cards. What am I going to do? Am I going to build? Which I could do. I could play this coin, and then it's gone. And really, remember, don't feel bad, it's gone. That means I've gotten rid of another card, right? Remember, we're trying to get through our deck as fast as possible. I could use this to play this, and this would permanently upgrade my blue ability. I don't know if I want to upgrade my blue ability that much right now. I mean, uh, you know, so, depending on what other cards you get into play, your blue, your 2B ability can be super powerful, or it could be not very useful. So I could build this, but I think I'd rather save this money to use it towards the purchase of a much bigger, more expensive card. So, that means this round, I am not going to build, and instead, I'm going to do 2B. And right now, 2B means draw two more cards. And I got a little level 2 sandcastle. It's one of the ones that never goes away. And I got a level 3 sandcastle. So... That's not exciting. I was hoping to get some coins and some big heavy hitters so that next round I could build a really big special one. And now, I've done with this. I didn't do this. And it's the end of my turn. I can hold up to four cards. I could hold all these. Because remember, even if I don't build these, each one of these is a coin that I could use towards building something else. But on the other hand, I could use my Jetson power and say, get rid of this sandcastle that's more expensive and try to pass it off to Jen and I'd be jettisoning a card. Because here's the deal. If I don't do this, if I, if I don't jettison a card, but Jen does jettison another card, you can see she's building up a bigger and bigger um, stockpile of stuff that she, that's gotten out of her life. And so, since the name of this game is getting rid of cards, I want to hold on to all of these so I can have a stronger build next turn. But by the same token, I don't want Jen to pull ahead in the... Um, in, in that game. So I am going to go on ahead and jettison one as well. All right. And now my turn is over, which means I haven't actually taken advantage of my bigger hand size. Um, but that's okay. I'm still building up for something big. My turn is over. Meanwhile, what is Jen going to do? All right. She's still got that coin. And, um, right. She's got the big seven. This is a super powerful card. Um, if you have it once per turn, you can discard two cards to um, bury 
underneath this card any one card from your deck. Normally, you know, sometimes to build expensive cards, you might have to discard two or three or four cards, five or six cards, like you saw in the first round. I discarded five cards. This thing says, oh, just discard two cards to trash a card. So this is a really powerful tool to empty out your deck as fast as possible. Jen would like to get this built. To build it, she needs seven. She's got one, two, three, four. That is not enough to get this thing built. Now, on the flip side, though, Jen could say, hey, you know what? I'll just build this sandcastle. It costs two. She could discard both of these to build it and then hold on to this coin for something later. Or she could, um, she could discard one, two, three, four and increase her hand size. Um, or... She could, I think, she is going to build, and she's just going to, yeah, she is going to do that. Now, she doesn't have to. Instead, she could do the 2B action like me and draw two more cards. Now, the, that means, though, at the end of this turn, she's going to have to discard some because her hand size is three right now. But that means she could discard, I mean, if she could dig and try to find some of her other coin cards so she could get more of them in her hand, it would be easier to build this that much faster. So is she going to do that, or is she going to just do a quick build? I think she's going to do a quick build. She's just going to build a sandcastle. That means she's got to spend two. And she will spend both of these. They are gone. And she will continue holding on to this. And now Jen's got a tough choice. Um, it's the end of her turn, and if she wants to, we're over here at step three. Um, so Jen doesn't have to, before her turn is over, remember, she could use this, she could jettison this card. And she's dump, emptying out her deck, but that means she's given me a double coin. And the problem is, Jen sees that I've jettisoned one, and so now she feels like she's got to stay, she wants to stay in the lead on jettisoning it. But she doesn't want to jettison this. Now, she could have done something completely different. She could have said, hey, you know what, I'm not going to be able to build this expensive card for a while. She could have jettisoned this and then given it to me. And then she could have paid this double coin to um, get this sandcastle built. And then she could have just held on to this for the future. So that would have been a way to go. She got rid of an expensive card that was going to be tough to build. She still built something this round. And she's still holding on to build up for something in the future. Does she do that instead? Ugh. You know what? If she hadn't seen me drop something, I think she might have she might have chosen to um, let it go for a turn because she would have been in the lead, but she wants to stay in the lead on cards she's jessoned. So once again, Jen has effectively dumped two cards, this one and this one. She's holding on to this for the next round. Jen indicates she's done. And now, at the end of this round, we can see, oh, look, um, everybody's put something out. So that means Jen ends up taking this and putting it in her discard pile, and she sees, ah, another sandcastle she's got to build. And I take this, and I say... Ah, another special power that I could give myself. But it's expensive. I won't be able to get it for a while. But remember, I'm saving up for expensive stuff. All right, and so Jen is still in the lead. She has effectively net built one, two, three, whereas I have only, only done one. But that's because I'm trying to save up for something bigger. That was the end of that round. Um, and now we are going to go on again. Let's just go one more time. Um, let's see. Oh, an insanely expensive. Although, the more expensive they are, the more powerful they are. This one is really cool. Because it means, well, if you have this in play, remember, every, at the beginning of every turn, I always draw two cards. Right? So, okay, this, would this means I could build two things a turn instead of one. Um, but if I get this thing built, I draw two cards, and I draw another card from my discard pile. So this means I could go get coin cards back that I previously used. This is a super powerful card, but getting nine in the early game, that is super tough. So I've drawn two, Jen has drawn two, and let's see what I'm gonna do. All right, I forgot. This is super tough to get, but I've got my $4 card. So this is four, five, six, seven. I'm still too short. Oh my gosh. Ugh. What to do, what to do. So here's the thing. Remember, I haven't seen any of my coin cards yet at all. So I could just, you know, hey, what the heck? I'll just go on ahead and build this with, um, you know, or, you know I, can, I can build this so I can increase this power and, you know, do the four or whatever. And um, because remember, I can only hold four cards. If I don't use these cards, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to jump the, dump them anyway. Although instead of dumping one here, I could always dump one over there so that it goes over to Jen's neck of the woods. I really want to get this built. This is such a powerful card. I think it's worth it. I haven't seen any of my coin cards. And remember, there are always two coin cards. And remember, as part of the fable at the beginning of the game, we put another. There are three coin cards in here. 
I and mean, I've got this one. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. If I could get a couple of my coin cards, I could get this built. And while I have a slow start, it'll really pay off in the end. So that's what I'm going for. I am not going to be building this. I am not going to be building this. So I still got these three cards. I could build this by you know, discarding both of these, and hey, at least I'm trying to keep up. But then, at the end of my turn, I'd have nothing to dump into the queue. So I don't think that makes much sense. I think this turn, I'm not going to build anything. I'm going to draw two more cards, because remember, I'm on a mission to find those coins. So I'm drawing two more, and it's another stupid level 2 castle. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. Okay, but because I've chosen this action, I can't build anything this turn. This is why Jen is pulling into the lead, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to get this thing built. All right, so remember, I can only carry over four. So I'm carrying over that, I'm carrying over that, I'm carrying over that, and I'm keeping one of these as well. Uh, upgrading the ability to draw more cards is really great, especially because there's a lot of cool powers that can combo with this ability, including powers that let you build even when you, um, are, when you choose this. But, you know, I, I don't think I want this. I, this I don't particularly want right now. The ability to build two, that's going to be something that's good later in the game. Once I've built up a strong engine and I could get tons of money and I could build multiple things and I could speed up. So, I don't think I care about this. I think this is the card that I'm going to use this power and give to Jen. Which means I'm going to end up getting that thing. And let's see, what else? I'm keeping one more of these. Eh, I guess I'll keep this just in case I want to build it. So... Um, at the end of my turn, I can only keep four, because uh, that's my hand size. These get jettisoned. They are not, not jettisoned. That's come up there. They get discarded. All right, that was my turn. I am done. I'm building for the long game. Jen, she's built a lot, which is why she doesn't have much in her hand right now. Let's see. What does she got here? She could still increase her hand size. This is crazy expensive. This is a, this is a special sandcastle. It costs eight to build. That's because at the end of the game, after the, the game is triggered, before we tally up who has the fewest cards, you get to take two cards still in your possession and bury them along with this. So building this card is the equivalent of building three cards at once. While you still get the, the benefit of those other two cards throughout the game. So that's super awesome. That would be a great thing to save up for. On the flip side, though, I mean, I think at this point, I mean, Jen can't afford to build any of these because she's just been building cheap. Now, this is the turn when Jen could say, hey, you know what? I'll just discard all three of these to draw four and maybe get a more useful turn. And then that's when this card, hey, she had built it, but it says go back into the discard pile. So now she's, you know, increased her hand size, but have gotten a, maybe a better hand because Jen has only seen one of her coin cards. Nope, she's seen two of her three. So there are not many. There's only one more in here. So I think it's time for Jen to switch things around and start building up for a bigger turn as well. So Jen's going to go on ahead and do this and draw two more. And she gets a sandcastle that's easier to build and one of these. All right. So Jen is done. She wants to stay in the lead of having jettison cards. She'll jettison this one. Uh, because, you know, These two both offer the same thing, but this one's more expensive, so it's hard to build. Jen will happily donate that to me. And now at the end of her turn, she can only hold three. She has to discard one of these. She'll discard this one. All right. And so she's carrying these three cards over into the next turn. All right. So um, Jen indicates she's done. Once again, at the end of the round, oh, hey, uh, I have given Jen this. And Jen has given me, what do you know, the same card. So they've just switched hands. All right. So that was that round. And we're on to the next one. Uh, one... There's the coins. Oh, this is it, folks. This is what I've been saving up for. This is going to be monumental. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got enough to build the second most powerful card in the game. That is what I'm going to be doing this turn. Jen draws a hand size increaser and another super expensive card. Okay. So Jen went quick. And it's not really paying out for her. Now might be a good time. Jen's got five cards in her hand. She could turn, discard the, all five of those cards, if she doesn't want them, to get six cards and maybe put herself in a better situation. Although, again, she'd be getting rid of a card. Uh, so, but let's go back to me. What am I going to do? I think, I think I'm going to build this nine-pointer. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to feel good. Okay, so I need nine total to spend. Here is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and it doesn't go to the discard, it gets trashed. So I can just like put it under here as a reminder, it's gone. So it's still, it's like this turn, I built two cards. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I got to build one more. Uh, let's, uh, let's use this. And now, for I've got one more card in my hand, 
I'll jettison it. I'll give it to Jen. That's a sandcastle I hopefully will never have to build. Although at the end of my turn, my extra hand size isn't helping me because I got no cards in my hand. Oh, but this is going to start paying off big time, folks. Let's see what Jen's up to. Okay. Now, Jen could just take it easy. Jen could just build a level three castle by discarding three of these cards and, um, you know, and continuing to stay in it. But no, Jen has yet to build any sort of engine at all. And if you don't start building an engine in, in one of these categories, you will... I mean, you could have an early start, but it, it won't hold up. So I think Jen is going to use this. So she discards this, and she can discard any number of cards she wants. She will discard all five. One, two, three, four, five to draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Normally, with a hand size of three, you don't get to start your turn. And so, and Jen's now got six cards, and she still gets to decide what she wants to do. And she got no coins! No coins. No coins. All righty. So effectively, she could jettison five of these cards to build one. So she could build a level five card. Which means she could build this Super Sand Castle. This one is like the other one I showed you, in that it um, you build one, but at the end of the game, you get rid of another card. So that's like you build two cards at once. But she, she needs to start building her engine. Um, she's waited too long. So I think Jen is going to discard this one, two, three, four, five, five cards to build this. And she has increased her supplementary. So she, I mean, because Jen's seen most of her coins, she can go through her deck faster to find the coins so she can build bigger stuff, like what you just saw me do. Remember, Jen hasn't found her big, sweet, juicy, plus four coin thing. So Jen would like to find that as soon as possible. All right, so anyway, this turn, Jen built. After having used her power, she spent five to get this. Alrighty, and her turn is over. She has nothing to discard as well, and what that means is, I have caught up. I discarded a card, which goes into Jen's, and it's a. And so here's the thing: she got rid of originally. It was a two, and we're all caught up. But now things are going to change because I have invested early, while Jen just went for quick builds. Uh, let's see what we get this time. Uh, I am drawing one two plus any card I want out of my discard pile. Uno, dos. A couple of boring cards, and let's go on ahead and get some coins, shall we? Yeah, let's get some coins. Although I could draw something else out if there was something I really wanted to build, but as is, I just want some coins. Alrighty, so, what am I going to do? Not much. I could pay this plus this to build this, but uh -uh, I want to get some more powers in place. So this is going to be a turn where I'm just going to draw a couple more. One, two... Okay, that's more like it. Now this one, uh, during the green phase when I'm drawing, I draw two. I get one from my discard pile. Plus, then I draw two more and discard one of them. So uh, going through your deck as fast as you can is a big part of this game. So this is a really nice power to have as well, which is why it's so expensive. Alrighty, so I, um, and since I have no other powers here and no other powers here, I cannot do anything else, although I can jettison a card. I will jettison this card. And because my hand size is four, I will keep the rest of these for the future. Jen, meanwhile, she drew two. And let's see, what has she got here? Um, she's got, uh, oh, this is, uh, this costs seven. This is maybe, Jensen, my absolute favorite card. Because if you have this one in play, what happens is you draw two cards and you take a coin. Coins are basically like cards you never have to discard. So over several rounds, you can save up a lot of money for a super build. Jen wants to build this. Okay. Jen knows her four-pointer and her two-pointer are coming. So before she gets through this deck, she before the first deck round is over, she's going to get this thing built. All righty. So she's drawn two. She's not going to build either of these. So she is going to draw one, two, three more. She is trying to dig as fast as possible. One, two, three. That's what, that's the good stuff. These are the three cards Jen is going to keep at the end of the turn. And Jen has to get, you know, Jen has to, since she can only hold three, she has to discard one of these. She'll get rid of the easy one to build. And she'll say, hey, I don't want to build that one. Boom. Okay. At the end of the turn, we, since we both, I, Jen gives me a sand castle. I give her a, uh, a crane. And we're, oh yeah. Oh, by the way, we were supposed to acknowledge. I was just getting too excited. So we were done. We reset what we're doing, we start the next round, and I draw one, two, and I get something out of my discard pile, like my other coin. Three, nice. Jen, sadly, is still only drawing one, two, but that's all she needs for what she's planning on. Alrighty, let's see, what am I going to do? Um, so I've got four coins, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have enough, I have enough to build this. 
I'm going to build this. This is the one I was just talking about. I'm going to build that. It costs seven. Here's one, two, three, four. And um, let's see. Five. Six. Seven. And I've got one more I could carry. Remember, see, me jettisoning this means I have one less dollar next turn to build with. But by the same token, I've effectively built something. So I'm just saying that. Meanwhile, Jen says, hi, everybody. Jen is going to use this for four coins. And remember, this is the one that gets trashed. It's effectively out of the game. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't count. Oh, no! Drat! No, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. Durr. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's building this. And she got rid of one of these. Uh, she'll get rid of this. Seven. And Jen could give this to me. But again, this is an awesome card. I mean, heck, you've seen how powerful it is because I've got this in built. Jen doesn't necessarily want to... I mean, heck, I might build this and then get two cards out of my discard pile if Jen gives this to me. But if Jen doesn't put this away, then I pull into the lead on that. But Jen cannot let this fall into my hands. So Jen is just going to hold on to this, which means she effectively has one more dollar for spending next turn for building. So that's cool. So this round we both built. Neither of us did our draw, even though Jen is more powerful at that. And at the end of the turn, hey, I discarded something. Jen did not. So these do not change hands. And that's the end of that round. Um, every, or because everybody declared they were done. Everybody declares we're going again. I draw one, two... And I get a coin. Now, these cards, you can do in any order you want. And sometimes that's really important, if, depending on the combination of abilities you get. Um, so, I've drawn two, I've gotten, and now I get one out of the discard pile. And I think it'll be some more coins, everybody. Alrighty. And Jen says, hey, she's drawn one, two. And she's also saving up some uh, money for a rainy day. And we can once again go at it. Jen's got three expensive cards. And she has one, two, three. She could basically spend three to build something. I don't think so. I think Jen is going to spend a few turns using her power to draw faster to find what she wants. She gets to draw three. That is one. All right. And her, she gets to draw two more. So uh, we got to reshuffle her draw pile. So she's gone through her deck first. Which means she's getting to her money faster than me. The faster you go through your deck, the better. All right, so um, that was one, two, all righty. And uh, how many was it supposed to be? Oh, I think so, yeah. It was just, no, one, two, three, because she gets one more. And, oh, she can increase her hand size. Uh, she didn't do it in the first round, but it might be worth doing it in the second. All right, but anyway, that's it. So Jen is done. She can only hold three. She has no other powers. She will use this to get rid of something. She will get rid of this um, to you know save for a later day. And Jen has to, can only keep three of these. This 10-pointer, which is super awesome. It lets you do an additional build, and that build can be at a discount of negative two. So that is incredibly powerful to have. It's like basically having two permanent coins in your hand forever. That's why it's so expensive. Um, but Jen can't be saving up for both of these big heavy things. Of course, the question is, is Jen just going to try and get this so she can have a stronger hand size? Or, you know, the, getting this built is really nice too. Discard three cards from your hand and draw two. So on a turn, when you do this, and you draw three, and you don't like the three you got because you're looking for a particular thing, you can say, oh, I'll jettison those three and draw two more. So you can go through your deck. So this combos with this really nicely. Unfortunately, though, Jen shows this, so she can't build. She's just thinking about what... Or she's already given one away, what two cards she's going to discard, because next turn she'd like to build. I think it does make sense to build this to combo with her other things. So she'll keep that. She will keep that. And she'll just keep... Uh, she'll get rid of these expensive things. They'll come back around later. So, because Jen's going through her deck so fast. So that was it for Jen. She is done. And meanwhile, me... Um, let's see here. Have I already done my thing? I think so. Yeah, I got my coin. I drew my two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've already done. Have I? Oh, I've lost track of what I'm doing now. Ah, that's why these are so important. And I, I shouldn't actually start my turn until I do that. I mean, and actually, it's really nice. This is a system that you might think, ah, oh, you don't need this. But the game goes so fast. But sometimes turns can get really complex as you start to build up bigger and stronger engines um, that it is good to always at start and then always at the end. I've, now I've mixed myself up because, okay, this is already out. I'm assuming I have done this. So this is what I've got to look at here. Two coins. So that's three coins. I can't build that. So I think this is a turn where I'm just taking it easy and drawing some more cards. Uno, dos. Saving up for a bigger turn later on. Hey, that's nice. There's four coins. 
And so, at the end of my turn, remember, I can hold four. Am I going to jettison one? Well, yeah, of course I am. What am I going to jettison? I don't want to get rid of this. But this is going to take a long time to build. And, you know, Jen might never get this thing built, so I'm going to jettison that. And I remember, I get to hold on to four. So that was it for me. I am done. And Jen has declared she's done. And, hey, since we both jettisoned stuff, Jen says, Ah, oh, thanks for nothing. Although it could come in handy later. And I say... Oh, I'm not too excited about that either. Okay, but I'm still in the lead on stuff we've jettisoned. And so we are on to the next round. But folks, I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of the fine flow of fine sand. And if you'd like to watch a little bit more, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen to go to the extended playthrough. Or instead, you can go to Final Thoughts. Your choice in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.